Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is uh, Larry NHL. Uh, today, I would like to do a video showing you guys my Buffalo Sabres collection. I'm, I've been kind of going in order, trying to show the uh, the team orders. You know, you're trying to go in alphabetical order, and I'm up to Buffalo. You know, I've got the got the hat to, got the hat to show and uh you know and this is an old this is kind of an older another older older all-star jersey from the mid from the uh, the 1980s here the old uh, the old Clarence Campbell the old Ca Clarence Campbell conference nice little uh pumpkin you know makes makes kind of look like a pumpkin but it it, it looks good so uh, i wanted to show that we're we're up to Buffalo here and so I will show you guys this is the the first one they had when they came in in the uh, I'm drawing a complete blank right now on the uh, the year that they came into the league like 72 I think it was 1972 they came in and they had they had this style, and I really I actually I really like I really like this style. It's very it's very cool. You know I mean it's got the buffalo. Yeah, you know, I mean obviously you know you got the the buffalo sabers. You know there's <laughs> pretty pretty self explanatory. You know you got buffalo and then the sabers there. And the cool thing is about this one. Sorry for the glare. We got kind of a kind of a nice bright light overhead here this this doubles as a this doubles as a as my wife's work office during the day but uh you know the cool thing is with this one also they basically took the logo and they put they just made a smaller version and put it on the shoulder which you know i mean i don't i don't know if a lot of people really were crazy about that it's the one thing on the new Buffalo Sabres jersey I kind of wish they would have had. I really kind of wish they would have put, you know, the the logo back on the shoulder. But that's just a that's just a little nitpick. And they had this up until probably about ninety. What was it about ninety five? I think ninety five or ninety six. And then they decided to make a very radical, and I mean radical change. To go from blue and yellow to the goat head. This was really interesting when it came out because I know when I first saw it, when it first came out, I thought, "What in the hell is that?" It just uh, I, it didn't make it didn't make a whole lot of sense at the time, but this thing was a huge, huge seller back back in the day and and it was very it was very cool that when I when I was able to get it and you know a number I mean a lot of a lot of you know a few high schools have actually used this this logo for their their school logo which is interesting and then on the shoulders they decided you know they decided we're going to do a little departure from what they normally had done and they went with and they went with a B with a sword going through it, which I honestly thought was pretty cool. It just it made it it made it look it made it look a little a little better, I thought. And I really I really liked the the B with the sword going through it. The the angry goat head is what they called this. It's uh, definitely definitely an interesting an interesting look. You know the sleeves. You know the sleeves are, are are very were definitely a very interesting uh, little look, especially going going down the sides. And I don't know, maybe this maybe this was kind of a you know this kind of gave the idea for later on for when they did the when they did the the Reebok and the Adidas and they did the the stuff on the side. So I'm thinking maybe this might have been a Kind of a precursor to that but so yeah there's the angry goat head interesting it, interesting uh, color combination and then they decided we're gonna make a third 
Of course, y'all might know this one. They have a reverse retro in their current colors of this jersey. The crossed swords. This is... I've... I've call me crazy. I love it. I, I, I love this, co this color combination when they went black and red and it just, it, it looks, it just, it looks, it looks so nice. Of course, you've got the buffalo down there, you know, that's all screen printed. We got the angry goat head on the shoulder. Of course, the cross, the, the crossed swords. This, of course, you know, I don't know if that, that just kind of sat there. It didn't really, that really didn't do a whole heck of a lot but uh but yeah i mean you know they got the gray on the bottom the the black and white there with the red and and i did i just i i i love this jersey when this came out i i knew i had to get it when it came out and probably 1990 i think it was in college 98 1998, I think I got this. 98 or 99, maybe. I think I I believe I was still in college at the time. And you know, of course, this is a you know, this was when when uh, CCM and Coho were doing their were doing their thing with uh, you know the little Coho logo right there. But yeah, so I mean, I've basically had this for. Probably over 20 years. If I got this back in '98 or '99, I've had this, I've had this this particular jersey for probably almost 20 years. I would say the same for the same for the uh, for the angry goat head. But then, then after a while, I think the fans in Buffalo kind of wanted a change a little bit, and then they they kind of went back to. You know they they kind of they changed their colors up a little bit, and then they came out with this. Yes, the buffer slug, <laughs> the buffer slug. I again I don't know who in marketing thought this was a good idea, but. And the weird thing was, when this came out, this was the number one selling jersey that year, the year it came out. I don't know why. I don't know why. I felt that I had to freaking get it because, I mean, well, it was a new jersey. I had to get it. It was a new jersey. I had to get it. But, yeah, the Buffa Slug. I mean, it's, I mean, yeah, it, it, it literally looks like a slug. <laughs> it's got a it's got the buffalo head here but it's a slug body it's just it's it's crazy but the sleeves were very cool the sleeves were very interesting and and it's just the the color combination was really kind of cool i definitely didn't mind it they kept the shoulder logo they just kind of they did a little different they brought the colors back. They kind of they just they went from the red and black to to the dark blue and uh, and yellow, which you know I mean I still I still really like that. That's still a very cool looking looking thing. And honestly, on the on the Buffalo jersey now that they have, I kind of wish if they were gonna go back to a shoulder logo, this this would have been great on the shoulder. So they went with that. That lasted for a little while. But a lot of the fans were clamoring for the old logo to return. They wanted the old logo. So they kind of kept the colors. And they went back to the old style logo. They just tweaked it a little bit. They added a little bit. Uh, you know, they added some silver. You know, they just, they kind of, just the way they did it, they added a little bit to it. And it just, it's, you know, and I, I, I really, I really like this. It's really, it's really nice. This is the, this is the Reebok version. You know, it's got the sleeves down there. <clears throat> you know, it's got the sleeves there, the, the stripes on the sleeves, the gray. And, you know, it's, it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice, it's a pretty nice look. You know, it has, it, you know, being Reebok, it had the piping. 
it had the piping going down here. Now, of course, I do not have the third jersey, or as I think, what is it some people have called it, the turd burger? I think people have called it the turd burger, the yellow with this with this logo, and it's mostly yellow, and with the blue in the back, it makes, you, makes it look like a cape. I do not have that one. But then when Adidas came out, I had to kind of, I kind of had to upgrade. So I upgraded, I got the Adidas version of that, which I believe I got this, the last year they wore this, I got this and I, th I got this, I got this on a deal through, uh, I believe it was Ben, yeah, it was Ben from uh, Ben H Sports. He had these on sale. And I knew Buffalo was coming out with a with they were going back to their original colors and that, and I knew I was going to get that one, but he had this on a deal, and I'm like, oh, I gotta, I, I gotta get it, you know. I mean, they had, you know, it's pretty, you know, and of course, you know, just kind of like the Reebok, you know, it's got the it's got the silver there, you know, it's it's all nicely sewn on, you know, this the this one doesn't have the piping on it. You know, the sleeves have got the, you know, it's got the sleeves there. That darn glare from that light. wish I could do a little something about that. But, uh, you know, it's got that all down there. And, and yeah, so, I mean, you know, I really like this. And the, the, the laces there kind of, I mean, they just, they're just there. You know, of course, the NHL shield there, that looks, I, I don't care. I, I like the way that looks. I like that. The neckline, the classic Adidas neckline. You know, you got the yellow goes about halfway down. But you know, for for the price I got this, I I think I got this for like 75, 80 bucks or whatever whatever Ben had it on sale for. I can't remember exactly what he had it on sale for, but I sure wasn't gonna turn it down. And then the piece de resistance. They went back to this. The old logo, the old style. They added the white on the sleeves. I absolutely love, love this. This jersey is absolutely phenomenal. You've got you've got what they did in the in the with the buffalo head there or in the buffalo with the 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 detail I mean that's just that's that's fantastic. I mean that that is such a beautiful thing. You know they did they did something similar like that on their 50th anniversary jersey, and I'm I was really glad when I got when I got this that they had this they they had it like that the hair, and it just it makes it it makes it it makes it pop so much better. You know of course you got the crossed swords down there the yellow it's just it's beautiful. Of course, you know you got the you got the Adidas. There, the the Adidas, the NHL logo there. You know, of course, you know. If you're wanting the Adidas, there's the Adidas logo. But uh, I mean, this was this was phenomenal. I mean, I just I'm, I was really glad they went to this. I mean, I did I I was a little disappointed that they 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 kept the shoulders bare. If they were gonna do something, I would have loved to have seen the B. Have them put the B with the sword going through it, the the blue and yellow. That would have been phenomenal. But again, you know, a little minor, a little minor nitpick. You know, I'm not sure what exactly that is or what this is supposed to necessarily be, but for some reason it just it it looks like it looks good and it honestly looks like it belongs there. And so I was really I was really glad when I got this, and uh, yeah, I'm just real, real happy for it. Real happy I got this, and uh, yeah, so that that takes care of my of my personal Buffalo Sabers collection. So, so if you guys uh, if you guys like the video, I think I can go sit down now again. <laughs> 
And yeah, I hate the I I hate the fact that that light's got that got that glare because it just kind of eh. But uh, yeah, I can't can't really do a whole heck of a lot about it at the for right now. But but uh, but yeah, that's my that's my Buffalo Sabers collection. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy that. If you if you do, uh, you know, hit uh, hit like and subscribe. You know, hit the little bell if you want to. Don't be afraid to comment. And uh, yeah, that uh, that takes care of it for my uh, for my Buffalo Sabers. I will see you guys again soon. Again, don't forget don't don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you if you like what you see. Because I'm going in alphabetical order on the uh, on the the teams that I have, so which would mean who's next? Carolina, Carolina, I think would be the next jersey collection. I don't have a whole ton. I don't have a whole ton for them, but I might uh, I might include a couple others in there just for the heck of it, because you know it's part of their franchise. So uh, we will. I will see you guys again soon. Uh, again, if you if you like if you like the video, you know hit like, you know hit the hit like and subscribe. You know feel free to comment if you want, and uh, I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.